Lucas Raymond, buddy. He came right down there and said out loud, this looks like a job for me. So everybody, just follow me. And the Red Wings end up with the victory. Let's go. What a huge, huge game. And look, man, I was saying it from the beginning. The best case scenario would be the Wings winning in regulation. Because they get the tiebreaker, they get the two points, and the Canadians, hey, they need to tank. It's fine if the Canadians lose some games and falter in the standings a little bit. That's fine. But Montreal did not make it easy in the slightest for the Red Wings to get this dub. The ultimate score is 5-4 in overtime with seconds remaining in the frame as Lucas Raymond takes advantage off of a big save by Alex Lyon on Lane Hudson. Man, as a Red Wings and Canadians fan, there's way too much to talk about as a result of this game. But before we get into the actual game, let's give a standings update. We need to do this because, my goodness, the East is way too tight. You see, the New York Islanders actually clinched themselves a playoff spot with their victory today over the New Jersey Devils. They're locked in. But other games to pay attention to? Guess what? The Pittsburgh Penguins beat the Nashville Predators 4-2. And the Washington Capitals beat the Boston Bruins 2-0. So, with one game remaining, this is our standing here. I'm just going to take a picture of this on my television screen from my phone here. There you go. The wild card is currently held by Washington. They are tied with Detroit. Washington does have the tiebreaker of regulation wins, though. So, in order for Detroit to make the postseason, they need to get themselves a point against the Montreal Canadiens tomorrow in their final game of the year. And they need to hope that the Capitals lose in their final game. That in which will be held tomorrow against the Philadelphia Flyers. And because of that... Because that is the case, if Philly wins, which is ideal, against Washington tomorrow, Philly would actually go up and tie Detroit. So Detroit needs at least a point against Montreal, and it would be so much better if the Capitals lost in regulation. That is ideal. Detroit, look, if they win tomorrow, and Washington also wins tomorrow, then that's it. The Capitals are in. So, pretty harsh times here for the final game in the NHL season. When was the last time we had seen this? I mean, the Penguins played their final game on Wednesday against the Islanders, so the Pens have a little bit of a break. Obviously, the ideal situation for Pittsburgh would be if Washington and Detroit both lose in their final game. And then Philadelphia would get two points because they would beat Washington up to 89, and then Pittsburgh could get to 90 by beating New York. But this is going to be a pretty tight race for the finish. Any one of these four teams can make the wild card. But the Red Wings, they got what they needed to do right now. Sure, it was in overtime. They could have used this in regulation, but they had to come back. The Wings had a 4-1 deficit earlier in this game, and they were able to find a way. Honestly, I'll say this about the Detroit Red Wings. Part of the reason this game was so out of reach for them, I'm not going to lie, was the Red Wings themselves. Like, you know how sometimes when it's a super important game, you can see the nerves on the ice, you can see the guys fumbling their passes, you can see the guys making mistakes? I feel like the Wings had a lot of that in this game, especially towards the third period when they were trying to tie it up. So many passes were just not hitting the mark, so many panic passes and odd plays where they are trying to make a read but the guy they're trying to pass to just isn't there. The wings and their decision making, I felt, just wasn't at its peak. But luckily, they were able to finally tighten things down and get things tied up to go to overtime and eventually win. And of course, it does come at the expense of the Montreal Canadiens. But ultimately, for the Habs fan base, I think this is okay. Losing in overtime, so you gain one point instead of two, keeping yourself down there in the celebrating tanking race, while also seeing 
the debut of Lane Hudson. I think that was probably the best way to start in talking about the game itself because the first goal scored by Brendan Gallagher was assisted primarily by Lane Hudson, his first NHL point on a Brendan Gallagher rebound goal. Hudson does his fantastic shimmy shammy move on JT Comfort to completely confuse the Red Wings forward. We said this in the video earlier today. Lane Hudson is creative, he's shifty, he's a magic man. And that is what he did on the blue line when setting up this Gallagher goal. He shimmy shammies one way, fakes to open up some space to go down, he throws it on goal, the rebound is there, and Gallagher puts it in. Lane Hudson's first professional point, ladies and gentlemen, it is 1-0 Montreal. Justin Barron then scored to make it 2-0 Montreal, so good to see Barron getting up on the board there. He's had a pretty up-and-down season, but he settles the puck in the middle, wires it by Alex Lyon. Give it a few minutes, though, and the wings strike back. It is JT Comfer getting his first of two on yet another backhander on a rebound. This was a pretty good play where the Red Wings are just putting the pressure on Samuel Montembeau. They eventually beat out the goaltender and... And it's JT Confer who gets the action going for the Wings. In the second period, though, this is where things started to fall apart because the Canadians struck twice in pretty good fashion. Raphael Harvey Pennard made it 3 1 off of a terribly covered defensive effort by the Wings. He had three guys committing to one guy in the neutral zone. That opened up the middle lane for Raphael Harvey Pennard to walk right in. He gets through the defense. He's coming in on a mini breakaway and goes far side in Alex Lyon. 3 1 Montreal. And then 10 minutes later, you had Seymour. Simone Edvinson with a terrible play behind his own net, and the puck ends up in front with Brendan Gallagher one-on-one -on -one with Lyon. He makes no mistake, 4-1 Montreal. At this point, it does not look good for the Wings, but JT Comfer, leave it to him to come back and get another goal to send this deficit back up to two. It's a beautiful cross-crease play by David Perron. He throws it right into the middle, and Comfer picks it up on the opposite side to bury it. And then in the third, this is where you started to see the Wings come alive. Detroit dominated the shots on goal in the third period, 15-5, and it's Alex Dabrinkit who starts it out with 10 to go. It's the power of the two octopi that were thrown onto the ice, wasn't it? It was Shane Gostaspear with a beautiful cross-seam pass to Larkin, who picks the puck up on the left faceoff circle, he fires, and he scores. Beautiful shot. A lot of those had been missing earlier in the night. You could see a lot of these wings' chances just going high and wide, and that's kind of why I was saying, you know, they needed to tighten things up a little bit in order to get things back on track. But when the pucks finally start going in, that's when you have Alex Dabrinkit bring in the game within one. And then with just a minute to go, six on five, the wings are cycling it around. They almost bury one. There was a big scramble in front of Samuel Montembeau where everybody was in the crease and everybody thought the puck was going in, but no, it didn't. Eventually, the Wings get it on goal once more, and the Habs clear it, but it's Air Jordan grabbed out of the air by Shane Gostaspare, who keeps it on side. He plays it over to David Perron on the left. The puck finds its way onto Lucas Raymond's stick, and instead of Raymond trying to force a cross crease, he takes it. He waits. He notices there's nobody on him, so he walks in front, and he scores far side on Montembeau. What a beautiful goal scored by Lucas Raymond to tie the game up 4-4. And to overtime we go, where the Montreal Canadiens had themselves one of their best hot young prospects in Lane Hudson come in on goal and take a beautiful shot that was stopped by Lyon. The rebound picked up by Raymond, sent it up to Gostaspare. Gostaspare over to Larkin. Larkin comes in. It's a two on one. He throws it across to Raymond who fires and he scores. That is the five to four victory here for the Detroit Red Wings as Lucas Raymond spoils Lane Hudson's debut. And I'm going to say it's fine that that's the result that happened. Lane Hudson got a point, so it's okay. But the Red Wings, by golly gee, what a game that was. The Detroit Red Wings have defeated the Montreal Canadiens 5-4 in overtime and will do it all over again. If the Capitals win tomorrow, that's it. The Red Wings' opportunity at making the playoffs is done. How crazy is that, that we're in a position where the most important game of the year is the last one? 
Who thought the Wings would have been here? Thoughts in the comment section below about the Red Wings beating the Canadians. I hope you enjoyed this video. Trash Rolls 99. And bye.